when we're trying to solve rational equations, we want to multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator. And between all three of these terms, the common denominator is going to have an x in it, an x plus 2, and the denominator here is the implied 1. So my common denominator is x times x plus 2. Now, because I want to multiply the entire left side by this x and x plus 2, that means each term is going to get multiplied by x and x plus 2. On the right side of the equation, there's only the 9, but it also has to get multiplied by x and x plus 2. The reason we do that is now we'll cancel in this first fraction. We'll cancel the x. It leaves us with 15 times x plus 2. In the second fraction, it's the x plus 2's that cancel. It's kind of nice. But the entire numerator of 9x minus 7 gets multiplied by x. And on the right side, there's nothing that's going to cancel because there's no fraction there. So we'll have 9x times x plus 2. Right. No more fractions. That's the good news. Uh, the bad news is it's kind of big, and we still got to go through it. So, you know, just one step at a time, uh, we know that we can distribute. So let's distribute and see what happens. When I distribute the 15, we have 15x plus 30. In the next term, it's the x that I'm going to distribute back in. So 9x times x is 9x squared, and minus 7 times x is minus 7x. On the right side, I'll distribute the 9x inside, and that'll give me 9x squared plus 18x. Um, it's looking quadratic because I see my biggest powers here are the x squared. So the only way to solve a quadratic is to get one side equal to 0. That means I want to subtract 9x squared, and I'm going to want to subtract 18x. So I'll just put it right here. Uh, that means on the right side, these guys will cancel and leave me with zero. That's what I wanted. Uh, but on the left side, something nice happened. Because I was subtracting 9x squared, this term's gone, and it's really not quadratic anymore. When I combine all of my x's, the 15x minus 18x is negative 3x, and I still have this minus 7x. So negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10x. The only constant term is that plus 30. So what I thought was quadratic really isn't. That's good news. So I'm just going to get all the x's on one side. I'll just add that 10x over here. Leaves me with 30 is equal to 10x. Divide both sides by 10. And there's our solution, x equals 3. Now before you leave the problem, you should look back and see if, uh, if this 3 makes our fra our, any of the fractions undefined. So we go and plug it back in, and we'd have 15 over 3 plus 9 times 3 minus 7 over 3 plus 2. Um, technically, you should go all the way and see if does that thing simplify to equal 9, but what I have right now is I notice that neither of my denominators are equal to 0, so I'm pretty confident that that's going to be my solution. But let's go ahead and try and figure it out anyway. Uh, 15 divided by 3 is 5, plus 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 7 is 20 over 5. And 20 over 5 is 4, and 5 plus 4 does equal 9. So yes, x equals 3 is our solution.